But he just hasn't hit out here. Runner goes. Oh. Yeah. Got it. What a throw by Barry. We're in the Florida second inning. No Third score. Three. On the corner, strike three call. Fastball popped up. Foul territory. The shortstop Mooney is over there to make the catch. In the air, right center. And steal second base. That ball in the air to left, dropping, but Bradley is there. Boy, he just run down anything. Mooney is 0 for 2, a fly out and a strikeout. Oh. Missed there. 2 and 2 to Scott Wingo. Runner at third, two out in the eighth. Up the middle. Base hit in time. Wingo saw enough. Of the off speed stuff that he could finally time one and deliver. Goes after one that's outside. They'll go to second for the quick force. 0 oh and 2. Up the middle. Stan. Throw to the plate. They get up. What a play. Wingo with a diving stop. Not a good throw. And Barry short hopped it at the plate. To Wingo again. Home for one. Back to first. Double play. Scott Wingo. The defensive hero in the bottom of the ninth. Dent at second represents the winning run. Base hit to left. It's going to try to score. Williams with a throw to the plate, and they get it. Sharply hit to Williams, and he made a great throw, and Barry was waiting on him. How about that? Is there anybody else next inning to throw out? <laughs> this one back through the box. Walker with a base hit. Walker at first. Walker goes to throw too high in the center field. Walker on his way to third. Here's the throw. He's in there. He gets a lot. And Walker will score. This is like deja vu all over again. The game they had against Virginia. Struck him out on a high fastball. Runner at second, two outs. Hit towards short. Mooney. Got it. And South Carolina has won another in extra innings. That's their 15th straight NCAA tournament win and their 10th straight at the College World Series. Nobody has ever done more. They'll have a chance to break both of those records tomorrow night. And boy, do they come through in the clutch or what? Just picked this year in the draft, 13th round by the Marlins. And that's it. They'll strand two in the first inning. Roth gets out of the jam. Look, arm angles, slowing hitter down. Second strikeout ends the inning. Well, the concourse is, is great here, all the amenities. This ball driven down the left field line. Peter Mooney on his way to second. And he's got a leadoff double for the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Marzilli really good when he puts it in play. He has struck out more than they wanted this year. Gets a base on balls here, though. 
important player in the 2010 College World Series. Breaking pitch in the air to right. It's going to be caught by Tucker. His throw to the plate not in time, and Wingo comes through. A sacrifice fly and an RBI first run of the game. Ball four. Missed outside, and Jackie Bradley Jr. draws a walk. Second issued in the inning. That grip when you when you swing him. Chop to short and off the shortstop stop in the center field. That's going to get a run home. Nolan Fontana can't come up with a tough bounce. The ball goes into center field. And it's two nothing. Christian Walker manages to get a run home. Bad wrist and all. Two on, two out, three two to the hitter. Chopped up the middle over the mound. Going to be a tough play. Straight for the run score. Adams did everything he could coming in from second base. It was just hit in exactly the right place. Towards second, could be two. And it is four, six, three, nine double plays for the South Carolina defense in the College World Series. Struck him out on another breaking pitch. Two and two to Piggott. Fastball. There's Wingo. Two men left. The tying run stranded at second and third. Will go to the bottom of the sixth. South Carolina by two. You just have to be terribly impressed by these kids. That ball is blasted to deep right field, and it's gone. Mooney got out in front of it, and it's his fourth home run of the year. And for South Carolina, their first home run in five games at the College World Series. All of his games on the plate, so would never gripe about his strike zone. Speared at third. Morales, nice play. This place is going to hold a lot of long fly balls. Oh! Strike three called inside corner, and Price gets out of the jam. Had some run on, came back in the zone. This ball served right back through the box for a base hit for Barry. Third, it, it, it bounced up. Wingo. Wouldn't you know? Scott Wingo comes through for another big base hit. He has been huge since he got off the bus here in Omaha. Oh. Johnson goes after an outside fastball, popped into shallow center field. And after a delayed start, Jackie Bradley Jr. got there. That ball hung up a long time. Making sure you get those outs. Moyer down to first. Two ball. Got it out. Christian Walker takes care of that one. Ben McMahon will be the pinch hitter in the last chance for the Florida Gators. Then he comes back and pitches an inning two days later for a save. Now this ball is in the left center field. Jackie Bradley makes the catch. South Carolina has done it. Back to back national titles.
off to Ray Tanner and his kids. They have rewritten the record books here at the College World Series. Nobody had ever won 16 games in a row in the NCAA tournament. Nobody had ever won 11 in a row at the College World Series, but that's what they accomplished tonight. And you can see the pain on the Gators' faces as they were swept two games to none in the finals.